have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got judgment, and it's with a knight of swords. So, the knight of swords can be about um, someone rushing towards you or something. I'm getting your person is rushing towards you in the recent past. And it could have been quite often. This Nine of Swords, the card that's below the word pass, rushes in. This person will cut out whatever gets in their way just to get to their person. Nine of Swords can be romantic, sensitive, um, or this person could have been trying to sweep you off your feet. They felt like you were being way too judgmental about something they said, did, or something that happened. So they were always trying to rush toward you just to fix it or just to change your thinking. So that's the recent past energy between you and your person. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the moon, and it's with chariot. Now the moon card is the card that's above the word present. Yeah, the moon card can be about feeling really psychic and intuitive. It can be about um, um, not trusting. It can be about some type of uh, deception. You could feel like your person is wearing a mask, or you could feel like they're holding something back, or they're not saying how they really feel. But what I am getting is that, because it's with the cherry hit, you could start to feel like you're ready to take charge. Yeah. You're ready to get in the driver's seat and take charge of your own destiny. Because it looks like with the moon card here, you could start to feel like you're dealing with... I'm just getting the word pathological liar. Not all of you, it's just some of you, Pisces. That's just the word that just... It just came out of the top of my head. It's just... Strongly, I'm just getting getting the feeling that a lot of you are starting to feel this way about your person. And this could be why you are so judgmental. And you're just ready to charge on out of there. Charge forward. Take charge of your own destiny. Get in the driver's seat. A lot of you are just ready to go. The chariot goes really fast. Takes off like the speed of light. Or is, speed, or is it the speed of lightning? But anyway, you're ready to go. You have confidence. And I'm just feeling the confidence is, is just ready to charge off and get out. Go towards your destiny. And I'm getting that for a lot of you, you feel like it's not with this person. Too much deceit. Too many lies. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now, we have the Page of Swords and with the Page of Wands. So, we got two message cards here. And we have two... Two pages. Now, whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that could indicate a student. It can indicate youth. It could indicate immaturity or someone who's younger than you. So, what I'm getting is that your person, 
like I said, these are two message cards. One is reaching out with messages of love, affection, and a lot of passion. That's the Page of Wands, the card that's below the word challenge. But then we got this Page of Swords. Conflict. Yeah. Stalking, watching, stepping on your toes, this Page of Swords. So, for some of you, the communication, it, it starts off pretty good. It seems like the two of you could be getting somewhere by talking and communicating, but then it ends up into conflict, fighting, arguing, and your person doing really something silly. Yeah, this Page of Swords is very, very immature, and so is the Page of Wands. So, yeah, two message cards here for the challenge. So it starts off good, and it ends up, I'm getting that it ends up bringing a lot of, um, I would say, bitter bitterness out. Out for both of you. Yeah, some type of fighting. So, that's a challenge. Let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Two of Swords. And it's with the Star card. So, like I said, it looks like you two are not getting anywhere. They did reach out to you. Like I said, it started off good, but then it ended up ugly with the Page of Swords. So, you could be realizing that you... You could be feeling like this Two of Swords. The Two of Swords will block and avoid. So for some of you, you're going to choose to just block this person. You won't answer their calls, their messages. If they knock at the door, you're avoiding them. Two of Swords blocks and avoids. And you're just looking to feel good again. The Star card is here. It can be about... Rejuvenation. It can be about having hope again. It can be about just feeling fab fabulous like you used to before you met this person. So, yeah, you're just looking f to feel great again. And you just, it's showing that you're going to block this person. Yeah, if you were wondering if you're going to hear from them and you two are not in communication, yes, you will. You definitely will. You got two message cards. It's saying that it's going to start off good, but it's going to end up ugly. So, Pisces, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a great day and doing well and staying safe during this virus season. So just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.